All right, guys, Scott Macaro here with another box break at Bullpen Ballistics. Uh, I was able to procure a third box of Bowman 2020 Platinum. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I really like these picks. Uh, last one, I got a Matt Davidson Auto 11 out of 25. So that was really cool. So, yeah, let's get to opening this thing. One thing I have noticed with these boxes because i'm getting these off of ebay which i'm probably getting high a little higher than uh, retail uh but i have noticed they're always in really bad shape i gotta be honest uh at least this one the bottom's not messed up just the size uh luckily there's like nothing in the box so the cards so far have been fine right, nice little pack I don't know why I really like opening these a lot more, just because I think just because the quality of the cards you get inside are better than, say, the Topps 2020 Update Edition, which is just a lot of filler. I feel like these cards are better for just collecting versus the other one is just, I want a lot of cards. So yeah, same thing as usual. What we'll do is go through this, this pack, weed out the two parallels, and then the... Um, Ooh, what a start, Tatis Jr. Uh, but then we'll we'll take out and sleeve we'll sleeve the parallels and then the auto, and then of course we're looking for one to two pitchers, probably just one out of these. Is there's only twenty five cards, uh, but no, that's a gr that's a great start, Fernando Tatis Jr. Kershaw. Took, I think I already talked about Kershaw. Although actually that video may be lost, so I may have to redo that. Zach Gallen. Ah, oh, I like Zach. Gallen. I might actually talk about Zach Gallen just because I I like him. Ooh, that's a chart card. I'm keeping that. No, I'm going to sleeve that. Chris Bryant. I'm liking these. Francisco Lindor, Zach Greinke. And we have our first parallel. That is a Jorge Soler. So that's going to get sleeved. And let's see. Is that another one? I can't tell. Bryce Ball. That's the only thing. Like, the only issue I have with these, uh, with the Platinum cards, is that it's so tough to tell the parallels. Probably have said that already. But I'll put that off to the side just in case. Ooh, and then we have, we have our auto. All right, let me put that down, and let's take a look. So who is this guy? Adam, I can't pronounce it, Kloffenstein? Kloffenstein? Pitcher for the Blue Jays. That's cool. I guess we're going to have to talk about him, because uh, that's an auto. And, you know, I like to talk about auto, so I'm going to have to look this guy up, because I don't know Blue Jays pitchers very well. Yeah, let's put him down really quick while I open up the sleeves. That's a cool, that's a cool little card. I always, I, I don't know, I like autos in general, so I'm always happy to pull an auto, period. But, you know, let's sleeve him up, and then because he's an auto, he gets the top loader treatment. That's cool. And, boom. So, yeah, there we go. So, Kloffenstein, what, God, what a name. <laughs> let's see, what, what's some info on him? Finished runner-up in the 2019 Northwest League. All right, so this is a prospect. I feel like, is that all? Uh, it says one autograph card. doesn't want to say specifically because I feel like I've gotten nothing but prospect autos out of these. Or at least rookie autos. Not sure, but no, this is about his 2019. That's what it lists. So he may be a rookie. Is it? Dang, he's a big boy. He's 6'5", 243. Let's see, Dominic, despite being more than three years younger than his average circuit peer, heavy sinker fronts his four-pitch repertoire, delivered on a severe downhill plane. Yeah, when you're 6'5", everything's downhill for you. But eh, that's, 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 that's pretty cool. I might actually hold on to this one long-term, if that's the case. Like, I always love the big boys. Uh, you know, it's one of those things. Yeah, I call it the, you know, classist in me, but I always love pitchers who are just big MFers. Probably because of the fact that Growing up, my guy was John Lackey for the Angels. Game seven, baby. Let's see. Where I actually have his auto. Uh, I was able to get uh, get his auto on a ball uh, in an actual game. I know it's so hard to think of live games, but yeah, I actually got that. But cool. All right. So there's our there's our auto. Let's see. I still got a few more. Yeah, Zach Gallon. I'm probably gonna just go with Kloffenstein. But I like I like Zach Gallon. Oh, these are the ones I already went through. Uh, I like Kloffenstein anyway, just because, or Kloffenstein, or what am I saying? Yeah, no, I'm not, not this is going to be a bad video. I apologize, guys. But, uh, so there's Trout. I'm going to sleeve him up because any Trout card I get, I sleeve. 
But Zach Gallon, I really like. Uh, he was he's a, he's a great rookie. Uh, he's a guy that I actually really like just because it's funny enough. Started following him because of fantasy baseball. I picked him up and he was a stud for me all year. Uh, Driscoll Smith, hose, <laughs> maybe uh, Marte Green. I actually have a couple of numbered cards of his. Volpe, why? Oh, we are all in the kind of young guys. Toglia, Bielik, and Casey Mize. What a way to end it. Ah, that's actually a guy I'd like to talk about too. Casey Mize is a hell of a prospect. I'm looking forward to how he turns out because Casey Mize is damn good. He's going to be a stud for the Tigers. Actually, funny enough, he, if I remember correctly, is it Casey Mize? Casey Mize actually might have came out of, I know he didn't, wasn't born here, but he, I think he actually trained here in California. His name sounds very familiar as far as, like, guys that I know of uh, that used to let have trained through here. But yeah, all right, that's not a bad, not a bad pack. Uh, so I need, to, I need to start memorizing that if I open any of these, that they're kind of in a row because it was Soler, Ball, and then Kloppenstein. Uh, let's see, I'm going to sleeve you guys up. I'll probably sleeve up that Tatis after as well. But yeah, those are our, those are kind of our, our pulls off of this one. So not, not, no, uh, no major players. Sorry, Ball, Solaire. No, like, big name guys. Bryce Ball. Yeah, he's a, he's another prospect. I think he's a good prospect, but he's um, not, he, you know, obviously not a big name yet. None of these guys really are. Uh, but, you know, saw, saw a little, little grouping there. So yeah, that'll be uh, that is it for our our little video. Hope you guys enjoyed opening up that box of Bowman Platinum. Uh, I have probably next one. I'm gonna start filling in some new different boxes. Uh, as you guys saw, I had the Prism breakout. I'll be doing another one of videos of those. Uh, obviously without the analysis because I just don't know enough about all those prospects to really make a decision unless it's a guy that I know who he is. Or if I end up with a situation of pulling Adam Seminaris, who I only know because I've been collecting the prospect autos and I just bought his auto. <laughs> or like, oh, let's see, let's take a look at the one that I just got. Uh, Eric Rivera, Super Refractor. Atomic Refractor, Super Refractor. I forget what it is. But auto, that's 20 out of 100. Great looking card. Mainly the reason why I got I got that one, but yeah, all right, cool. That's uh, that is it, and so we'll put him off to the side. So those are the guys I'm going to be talking about. Or sorry, Kloffenstein are going to is the guy I'm going to be talking about, and then Kloffenstein. Oh, I'm going to butcher that a few times. You guys are going to enjoy my mess ups on this video, I hope. But yeah, hope you guys have a great night. See you next time.